Please welcome to the stage the CEO of Pipistrel, Evo Bascarol. I'm Ivo Boscarol, uh, the CEO and the uh, founder of Pipistrel, and I come from Slovenia. Uh, I know that uh, during the last elections, all of you heard a lot about this country, but I can tell you that Slovenia is one of the greenest countries in the world. Almost 65% of surface is covered by forest. Yes, also grizzly bears are living there. But also some very good companies uh, are placed there, as you will see. We are placed just between Venice and Wien. And next time when you will come to Europe, you should visit this fantastic pearl in the middle of Europe. Uh, we are, sorry, we are based on uh, the western part of Slovenia. Two companies are at Slovene site and one company is on the, uh, form, on, the, on, on the left side of the former uh, border with Italy. Uh, about Pipistrel Group, uh, I founded Pipistrel almost 30 years ago. It started from hobby, but nowadays uh, in the facility of Slovenia we are producing uh, one aircraft se every second working day. More than 1,500 1, aircraft has been produced in almost 30 years. We are selling 95 countries and we have uh, 11 different aircraft in our portfolio. Uh, recently, we opened in uh, Italy another facility, very big, 10,000 square meters, uh, where the four-seater Pantera will be produced and also all our electric programs. Uh, our R&D, which will take care also of the development uh, for Uber Elevate project, is moving now in very modern uh, building and uh, soon more than 100 engineers and scientists will work there. Uh, in 2015, we won a tender in India to supply to Indian Air Force, uh, Indian uh, Navy and uh, NCC 200 basic trainers. So we opened also a branch office in India. And uh, last year we signed a large contract with a Chinese partner of 350 million euros uh, for uh, development of a new vehicle and also to build two factories, two our electric propulsed aircraft will be produced there, the two-seater Alpha Electro and the four-seater uh, uh, Pantera Hybrid. Uh, as we are known that our aircraft are uh, the cleanest and the energetically most uh, sufficient, uh, so uh, it's fair that they are produced also in facilities uh, which are energetically very ambitious. And uh, our facilities are designed in a way that almost all the energy we need uh, came from renewable sources, from the geothermal sonda uh, to uh, solar plant. We have 10 systems to produce and save the energy. About uh, Pipistrel Group, I am proud to say that uh, also in the US there are not a lot of uh, companies uh, which can say that uh, never in the history, in, in our case almost in 30 years, we never had a negative balance sheets or uh, uh, financial uh, 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 loss. So we always uh, work uh, very stable and we are uh, in our country uh, known as one of the uh, best companies, one of the biggest exporters all over the world. Uh, more than 50% of our export is out of Europe and uh, uh, if uh, the investors uh, look for a good opportunity uh, to invest uh, for Uber Elevate, just contact me, I will give you a good answer where to invest. Uh, because of all uh, the, uh, 
different work in the past, let's say, and our innovativity, we uh, were awarded uh, and we achieved a lot uh, or almost everything what is, what is possible in aviation field. Uh, NASA made three challenges in uh, the past for the best aircraft and the uh, uh, best uh, air, um, this personal vehicle in 2007-2008. We won both about the circular later. later. Uh, in Europe, we have uh, an organization called European Business Award. 50 judges are every year evaluating 15,000 companies, and in 2007, we were chosen like the most innovative company in the European Union. Also, from US, we got a lot, a lot of awards. Uh, Dr. Our uh, Tine Tomasic, who will have a speech later, uh, our director of R&D, uh, was awarded uh, with uh, William Piper General Aviation Award. We won the, the Dr. August Raspet uh, Award. So a lot, a lot of different awards. Also the highest award uh, uh, from FAA, uh, uh, the uh, Paul Tissandia Diploma. And the highest reward in aviation history the NASA Green Challenge Award, 1.3 million, what was more than Nobel Prize at that time, uh, went to our hands. And from this time, NASA stopped the challenges because all were always won by us. <laughs> what I'm very proud of is that uh, also in our country, I'm recognized like a trustable businessman. You all know Reader's Digest and they chosen me the fifth year in a row like a most trustable businessman in Slovenia. About uh, pipistrel contribution to electric flight. Uh, we, I can say that today we would not be here with the enormous contribute of pipistrel to electric flight in the last 20 years. We were the first believing in the electric flight, and when I started designing and talking about the electric flight 20 years ago, I was the most stupid designer in the eyes of my competitors, but now you see all you, you are following the same direction, and this direction is the correct one. Uh, we started the serial production of electric uh, vehicles, electric aircraft, 10 years ago, imagine. The biggest, uh, the uh, biggest, or let's say, the only four-seater uh, fully electric aircraft in 2011 was also Pipistrel. We won the NASA challenge with it. And imagine the car industry, with all the money they have, with no weight restriction, they are still not able to design a car, electric car, with the characteristics we were flying with the aircraft. So 200 miles with the speed of more than 100 miles per hour and carrying four persons. So, and this was in 2011. Uh, the only electric trainer, and on this electric trainer you can have a lesson with 70 cents per hour, cost of energy. It's still pipistrel. The first fully, or let's say the first four-seater uh, hybrid powertrain was introduced last year, as well as the uh, first uh, hybrid uh, propulsion powered by hydrogen fuel cells uh, was also contributed by, by us. So, uh, changing the engine to electric, it's not enough, you know this. We started with the, with the design principle that the aircraft can fly also without the engine or with as less as possible engine and producing as less as possible noise, help us to achieve what we, are, uh, what we have now and where, uh, to come where we are now. Uh, we will be good partner to Uber to design the VTOL. Okay, now we are producing uh, fixed-wing aircraft, but we have some experience also in designing different type of aircraft. We have everything in-house, from the first idea to the aerodynamic calculations, simulations, prototyping, uh, testing facility, uh, tests on the ground, on the air, uh, and what is important, we are certified uh, by European 
safety agency, EASA, to do also the certification. So uh, this is very important because the main issue or one of the main issues with the VTOLs will be how to uh, make the certification for these new flying machines, maybe without the wings or with short wings, with 10 or more rotors or, or uh, propellers. This will be a big issue and the experience on this market, uh, on this field, is very, very important. Uh, what is important also that we have market experience. No one aircraft, electric aircraft producer now in the world has so much market experience that we have because we are the only one selling almost a dozen of years uh, the electric aircraft. And believe me, people are afraid of electric flight. People are afraid even about the flight. If there is a car accident, everybody is talking if the driver was drunk. If there is an aircraft accident, everybody is asking if the engine fails. And with the electric aircraft will be the same or even harder. So we must focus on the marketing, how to promote the electric flight that the people will not get scared. Uh, about our partnership with Uber, you already heard today. I'm uh, very, very honored that uh, esteemed company uh, worldwide uh, company uh, chose Pipistrel as a partner to develop uh, 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 the vehicle, but uh, you must know that we have the same vision. The vision is to make to you, to us, better life quality in future, especially in the big city, in the big cities where the pollution is the, the strongest and, and the, the hardest. Uh, if you see the Earth from the, uh, from the space, you will see a very, very teeny uh, 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 blue belt around this the atmosphere. You know, the humans, we can uh, live maybe a few months without the food. We can live maybe a few weeks without the water, but only a few minutes without the air. And look what we are doing with this, our atmosphere. Uh, we, we must be aware that the atmosphere is the first topic and the first challenge of everyone who can contribute that tomorrow we will live in an atmosphere which is uh, healthy and which is safe and we will not lose time uh, during the mm, travel or during the transport from your own home to your office, uh, I believe everybody agree with me that it's better to spend this time uh, with your family, with, with your kids, uh, or with your friends. So Uber Elevate is offering time, it's offering all what we miss now in big cities, clean atmosphere and less noise. That's also very important. I'm sure that uh, what you have seen today, all the partners, uh, which are uh, involved in development of the new VTOLs are uh, so esteemed and uh, trustable that uh, we will, uh, you can trust us that in three years we will be here or somewhere uh, demonstrating the flying, new type of flying machines for the urban area. You know, in this, in this moment, uh, the public transport in big cities is really organized in a, I would say, a real stupid way or non-efficient way. Because first of all, you must wait the elevator, then you go uh, a walk to catch the bus, and with 40 people, you are moving in one direction, nobody likes to go, and then you go to the subway, and then you go with 2,000 people in one direction, nobody likes to go, and then again up, and then you uh, wait the elevator, and then when you are in your office, maybe somewhere in the neighborhood uh, 10 miles far, you see your home. This really must be changed. And thanks to Uber Elevate pro project, this will be changed. Uh, but uh, the benefits of Uber Elevate are not only the ones I mentioned earlier. As these vehicles must be also affordable, uh, it will be mandatory that uh, aviation industry join 
car industry. Aviation standards, aviation safety, and car mass industry, and car mass production, uh, and car uh, cost-benefit production, lean production, will make a new uh, uh, industry in future, believe me, which will be combined with two industries, and we will have uh, uh, very low-cost flying vehicles. And this will be the biggest benefit of Uber Elevate. Nobody mentioned today. Believe me, it is true. Uh, you know, I have always a problem because people say that I'm a kind of visionary. And when I introduce some of my ideas, uh, they always smile and they say, yeah, yeah. but uh, on the end, I'm always right. You know, <laughs> When 30 years ago I spoke with one esteemed engineer of one big airliner aircraft uh, and I told him, you know, we must introduce the composite materials, plastic materials into the manufacturing of, of big aircraft. And he said, you know what, we have plastic, we use plastic only for the spoons and the forks uh, when we eat the meal on the aircraft. The aircraft will, ne will be never uh, produced uh, uh, by, uh, from plastic. But nowadays you see, uh, the composite technology is uh, one of the standards in aviation. Also, 20 years ago, when I said that in future uh, the aviation will be electric powered, they smiled. And also today, uh, when I announced that uh, VTOL is thanks to Uber the best solution, but in future uh, this uh, technology or these uh, future steps must be a little bit different, even more efficient, and I'm quite sure that from short takeoff and landing and uh, vertical takeoff and landing, we must add another, another V in front to make a W takeoff and landing, because otherwise we will never reach the final solution, what we all wait, and that's the window takeoff and landing. So we must take the people from your apartment and you, we must bring you to your office. Just smile. Wait another 20 years, okay? <laughs> Thank you.